The fifth generation of fighter jet aircraft is looking amazing, but not as expected. The F-22 was simply too expensive and plagued with problems, the F-35 was over budget. Even the Russian T-50 is behind schedule and likely won't see widespread production until 2024 or later. The Chinese J-31 is still in the prototype phase and is likely years away. And of course, there is always the Iranian F-313. The general theme of fifth-generation aircraft thus far seems to be one of over-promise and under-deliver. These aircraft were conceived at the tail end of the Cold War, when defense budgets were limitless and the pressure was on to develop new technologies. But, needless to say, times have changed. The US Navy has already started requesting concepts for a sixth-generation fighter under to be known as the FAXX. Although ostensibly it is to be a replacement for the Super Hornet, one could see it as a way for the US Navy to hedge its bets with the F-35. Naturally, the sixth generation should build upon the foundation of current fifth-generation aircraft to include stealth, thrust vectoring, powerful ESA radar, infrared tracking, and helmet-mounted displays. A sixth-generation fighter would share a common airframe with both piloted and unmanned versions. The unmanned combat aerial vehicle version could be used for more dangerous missions, while the piloted versions act as command units. Ideally, the cockpit would be modular, allowing easy conversion. This would allow units with high airframe hours to be converted to unmanned combat aerial vehicle status for safety reasons. A sixth-generation fighter should be able to fly faster, longer, and further than current designs. New engine designs like the Advent engine promise to improve on the fifth-generation supercruise abilities. There is also the long-promised but so far unrealized promise of ramjets, scramjets, and the like. Airborne directed energy weapons have seen some much promise lately. Early prototypes were so large that they took up an entire 747. Initially intended to swap down ballistic missiles, the airborne laser looks to be simply too impractical for long-range missile interception. A smaller version, the airborne tactical laser, mounted on a C-130 Hercules met with similar criticism. A sixth-generation fighter must avoid the mistakes made with the fifth generation. The fifth generation of jet fighters seem so focused on stealth and beyond visual range combat that they are willing to sacrifice within visual range performance and affordability. This is similar to the third-generation fighters, where powerful engines and guided missiles were thought to render the concept of dogfighting obsolete. A sixth-generation fighter should be stealthy, but not have to rely on their stealth exclusively. They should be multi-role aircraft, able to take out enemy air cover as easily as enemy ground targets. They should be deployable enough to fly to an emerging hot spot at a moment's notice. Canada should look towards the future and build the sixth generation jet. Canada could work toward developing a sixth generation the Super Aero. The Super Aero should be look like bigger, more powerful, and stealthier than other fifth generation. The Super Aero looks poised to go even go beyond jets like the American F-22, Russian T-50, and China J-20. The Canadians could develop and build few Super Aero in time to be the successor of F-35.